Joining us now is Aaron Kessler of Raymond James and Simeon Siegel of BMO Capital Markets. Uh, great to have you both. Aaron, I'll start off with you. I mean, if you really wanted to have a clean break and own up to things, you would think that John Foley would be out of a job right now. And I understand the, the ownership stake involved here. But from an investor standpoint, does it look like enough will be different with John Foley continuing as the executive chairman? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say how much of an operating role he's going to have going forward here. I mean, we've seen that a lot with uh, CEOs move more to an executive type of chairman role. Um, and so I think, but I, they did announce a few things on the call that were more positive in terms of some of the expense efficiencies, especially on the logistics side. Um, I think uh, with uh, Barry McCarthy coming in, he'll probably put some more discipline in with Peloton as well. So uh, John kind of owned up some of the missteps they've had. I think it's probably the right move moving to a new CEO. Um, and, I, and I think it's probably better than I feared in terms of the subscriber growth numbers for the year. We were kind of thinking it would be in the six to 700,000 range, we kind of guide to roughly 700,000 for fiscal 22. So maybe better than feared as well. Cutting expenses is certainly a step in the right direction, Simeon, but it's not going to restore a growth trajectory. What does the company need to do at this point? I mean, the activist investor involved in this name wants Foley out. They want some more drastic action. What in your view, needs to be done given what they've laid out on the conference call. Yeah, so listen, I think Aaron brings up a really good point about the not better than fear. And I think the question we have to ask, is that a good thing or a bad thing, though? So if you're trying to kitchen sink, giving a number that's better than fear sort of keeps you a little bit on the fence. And I think that's what we're dealing with now. I think we were talking about just yesterday, this idea of you have to make a clean break, you need to create a reset, and then you can start building back up. And if instead what you're given is sort of a version of retrenchment, but then on the conference call talking about we are going to be back to growth over the long term, you're sending mixed messages that might help the stock today, but probably creates questions for the long term. And I think that's where we are right now. So I think to your point, it's, you're not missing the fact that it's executive chairman, could have been non-executive chairman, could have been any number of things. And that's going to be part of this conversation. Anyone walking off of the call today needs to say what actually did just change.